How to create a Facebook business page for Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create a business page for your Shopify store on Facebook. Here it is very easy to do. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you have to do is to open up a Shopify store and it is very simple. Now I'm going to open up my Facebook account that I have here. This is my account and I'm going here to navigate through this sidebar on the left on click see more. Here we have the see more or the uh, more options that we have. We have only to click on pages. When you click on pages, you will be shown or you will be faced with this menu page you manage. As you can see here, I have a page. Now I'm going to create a new page. Click simply on this plus button, create new page. We have the desktop preview. We have the page name, category, bio. I'm going to put a name, for example, Smith. Smith, for example, Smith's clothing or clothing. This is the page name. The category, I'm going to search for the category of clothing, for example. Here we have clothing. You can go ahead and put clothing as a brand, as a store or as a company. I'm going to put a clothing store. You can add some categories, it is up to you. For the bio, it is very simple and necessary step to do even though it is optional. I'm going to put a little bio so the customers will see and be attracted to this page by the bio. Let's go ahead and write a little example for this bio. We are here to serve you the best quality, for example, clothings with premium materials. And here we go. Now, simply, this is the uh, page name. And this is the bio. I'm going to click on create page and we are going to face another step menu, which will allow us to modify or put some more details to this page. We have here the website. I'm going to connect directly the Facebook page to the Shopify store. I'm going back here to my Shopify store. I will click on online store, click on view your online store. Then I am going simply to copy this link. I'm going to close this page, go to the Facebook page again. Then I'm going simply to put this website. Here you have to put the phone number if you want to show it. Here we have the email. We have the address, city, zip code, and the hours like this of work. You can put, for example, no hours available. This is no hours. You can put always open, open at selected hours. This is very easy to do. Now I'm going to the next step. Here we have the customization of the page. You can add a profile picture or you can add a cover photo. I'm going to put all of those two. I'm going to add a profile picture. For example, let's go ahead and add a profile picture. You can go ahead and customize or create a profile picture using Canva, which is a free tool for design. It is up to you. I'm going to put a random picture. This is the photo or the picture. And for the cover, I'm going to put a banner that I have created using Canva. It is very simple and easy to do. Now let's go ahead and show or choose a uh, banner from my menu. Let's go ahead and put any banner like this. Uh, this is the banner that I am going to put, for example. You can go ahead and create some crazy banners from Canva. It is a free tool to make some really good or with high quality designs. Now you can add a action button. I'm going to click on here. You can customize your action button. Here you can put whatever you want. You can put a call, a messenger button and a lot. Now you can go ahead and explore this by yourself. I'm going to proceed to the next step. Here we have the third step is coming. I'm going to show you what we can do more about this. You can see connect WhatsApp to your page. You can go ahead and connect the WhatsApp to your Facebook. 
this is a very good step to do or it is something beneficial to your page so the customers can interact with you directly with whatsapp you put your here your number area or your uh, code of the country and then you could put simply the whatsapp phone number and get the code confirm the connection then you can click on go ahead now i'm going to skip this step here we have build your page audience you can add some friends or you can add some followers it is up to you uh, to choose now i'm going to click on next here we have stay informed about your page i'm going to set the notification on like this and also we have the email and promotional emails about your page you can set or put this enabled or disabled and simply click on done here it is finalizing the steps and making the page here we have the page and this is the update that we have made from the banner and the profile picture now we have the page we have everything set up and now i'm going to put or add something i simply click on here on the professional dashboard and as you can see this is a very good dashboard i'm going to set up a automation for the emails all you have to do is to click here on inbox when you click on inbox it will set you to a page as you can see here and then you can go ahead and put for example the messenger you can put an automation here respond to messages set up automations and more create messaging ad to set up the automation all you have to do is to click on this cosmic button we are here seeing automations click right here and it will show you another menu we have instant replay away message identify and answered messages we have custom keywords contact information hours and locations and also comment to message I'm going to put, for example, instant replay. Here we have the channel. All you have to do is to check the channels that you want to set this automation for. I'm going to click on Messenger. Since we haven't yet connected our Instagram account, you can go ahead and connect your Instagram account and you will see the Instagram right here case. When this happens, Smith's clothing receives a message on the selected platform which is messenger take this action reply instantly to the customer for example this is the welcome message you can go ahead and put this instant reply i'm going to put it on and here i am going to let this message hi thanks for contacting us we have received your message and we appreciate your reaching out i'm going to click changes save changes and here you can identify and answer messages or you can put custom keywords here we have reply to a message that contains specific keywords i'm going to put here these or you can also add the frequently add questions you can go ahead and put this and edit it here it is set up already i'm going to edit it simply and here we can add the messages for example here show frequently asked questions as suggested messages that the person can send to your business you can click on messenger for example or add another question this is the question number one i'm going to put the question uh, for example how much much is the shipping for example and i'm going to type a question mark here the message i'm going or the answer i'm going to put uh, we offer for example a or an international international free shipping over uh 75 for example dollars like this but the standard standard but under that for example under that it will 
cost you $25. And here we go. You can click on save changes or add another question. I'm going to save this change and we are good to go. Now, as you can see, we have this page with some automatic re responses and we are good to go. Now, the last thing that you have to do is to go ahead and copy some of the products that you have on Shopify from the images to the description to the price and put it simply on here with creating a post, then creating some ads for them or some reels for them. And also you can launch a story for this product. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon on the next one.